So before we start making our music video for Rocksmith, there are certain settings which you might want to do in your desktop settings. First of all, go to your playback devices and go to main default output device. Then click advance and set the quality of your output to 16 bit 48000 Hz DVD quality, which is roughly equal to your Rocksmith's real tone cable's input quality. Next we have to modify the Rocksmith.ini settings to make sure that the recording software can catch the audio recorded in game. Go to the folder in which Rocksmith 2014 is installed. If you are using Steam on PC, then go to Steam Apps, then Common, then Rocksmith 2014. Rocksmith config file. After clicking the config file, make the following changes. Exclusive mode to 0 and force default playback equal to 1. Once it is done, we can go to the next step. The next step is to download a recording software for your Rocksmith 2014. Most of the people would use Bandicam. But the problem with Bandicam is that the, it, the it's really a PC intensive software and has that annoying watermark. And it is not free to begin with. So I would recommend you to download Plays.tv. It is a free, easy to use compact and has a feature to disable its watermark as well. So to download it, go to Plays.tv then click the download tab to download the latest Plays.tv client. Once the installation is finished, start the Plays.tv client. Before we start our game, we can optimize our video recording by going to settings and going to video. Here, resolution, the bitrate and the quality of your video to your liking. And also, there is an option to disable Plays.tv watermark to begin with. Also, allow the program to record as soon as the game starts, so you can have uninterrupted video recording throughout your gameplay. And for the video editing software, you can use any software of your liking. But if you want to make videos like the Riff Repeater does, you might want to use Sony Vegas Pro. So now let's record the video. First of all, keeping the Place TV on, start your Rocksmith 2014. As soon as the Rocksmith starts, the Place.tv will start recording. Record your desired song and quit Rocksmith. As soon as you are on the desktop, Place.tv will pop up and show you your recorded session. Click the session and then right click the video inside it. And click show in folder which will then guide you to your raw recorded video. Now you can use this video in your desired editing software to make your video. Now we will record ourselves playing the guitar. Take your preferred camcorder, DSLR or your smartphone and start recording. Once the recording is finished, transfer the video to your PC and then to your video editing software. Now let's start editing your vi our video. We are going to use Sony Vegas Pro to make it an identical video like the Riff Repeater. Do the following settings to your, uh, to your uh, video properties. Deinterlace method to triple it fields. Pixel format to 32 bit floating range for super vivid color format and video settings to the best possible settings. Here are mine. Now import your Rocksmith video and your, your uh, guitar recorded video onto Sony Vegas. Now we need to synchronize both the videos. Once both the videos are synchronized, we need to scale down the Rocksmith video. Just click video event effects and pan down the video. Now take the mask option in video event effects and lower down the opacity to your desired settings. Now we will create a free transform mask by clicking anchor creation tool to create a polygon or mask. Complete the polygon and the video will be masked. Add some feather effect to blend both the videos a little. Once you are satisfied with the video edited in the software, let's render it. Go to files, then render as concept EVC slide slash AAC and choose your desired format and then render it. Once your rendering is finished, you will have your finished product just like this. I hope you liked the video. If you liked the video, press the like button down below and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.